the Minister of, of Health is basically saying, um, well, general intention, we don't want to have, uh, we don't want to use agencies as much as we, uh, as we are. I'm still giving myself the power to, uh, to sign contracts as much as, uh, as much as I want. He's not putting firm uh, intentions in the bill itself. Everything will be done by, uh, by regulation, so discussed or decided later by himself and his, uh, his colleagues around the, uh, the cabinet table. Um, but none of this can work. You cannot reduce your dependency on agencies unless you have better working conditions. Put yourself in the shoes of a nurse who decided two, three, five, six months ago to leave the public health network and to go work in an agency. She did that because the salary is better, the hours are better, the uh, family life is, uh, the conciliation with family life is better. Uh, nothing in this bill will change that. The only thing that will change that are the negotiations that uh, Madame Lebel is, uh, is having with, uh, uh, with her counterparts right now. Um, but that's where the crux is going to be. Today is simply a statement of intention by the, uh, by the government. What place do you think these private agencies have in the healthcare system? Um, there, we discussed it this morning. There is a place for, uh, for, for the private sector in the healthcare system. But in an ideal world, do we need agencies? No, not at all. In an ideal world, uh, the nurses, the orderlies, uh, the people who work in the healthcare network are employed by the healthcare network, by the public healthcare network. Uh, but the problem is that the CAQ has let it grow so much over the years that now entire regions are dependent on these agencies. They cannot function without them. So if we are to make a real movement from the agencies to, uh, to hiring nurses in the private, in the public sector, uh, we need to improve their working conditions. Today, we are immensely dependent on them, and that is that can't continue the way it is right now. It okay. ideally says by 2026, yeah. the use of public agencies should be diminished or reduced to the lowest level. Do you think that timeline is accurate? Do you think we can get it, there? It all depends on what the government is willing to put on the table. Today, our nurses, our, our nurses in the public sector are paid the lowest salary of any nurses across Canada. If we want to bring back nurses in our public health care system, we have to value them. We have to show that we value them. We have to give them decent working conditions. We have to uh, be flexible with the, uh, uh, with the schedule that they work. We have to give them a good salary condition. And none of that is in the bill today. So it's impossible to say whether it's a, it's a realistic outcome to no longer depend on agencies by 2024 in Montreal, 2025 in certain regions, and 2026 uh, in faraway regions, unless we know what the working conditions are. If you listen to the nurses themselves, a lot of them this morning said, mm, unless you really improve my working conditions, I might retire if I can't work for an agency. I might go work in a completely different field. I might find a job in the private healthcare sector somewhere. So uh, I think throughout all of this, the first and foremost, we have to listen to nurses. And if we're only decreasing the, uh, the conditions of some of them without increasing the working conditions of all of them, uh, this bill isn't going to cut it. Are you saying then that this bill serves no purpose at all? I think it sends, it sends a message, uh, but there is no guarantee with this bill until we see what the public health care working conditions are. There's a risk associated to it. There is a, there's a possible benefit if the government, the CAQ government, accepts to really improve the working conditions of nurses, but there is also a risk to it if that's not done. If you limit the agency, uh, the possibility to have agencies, and you do not improve the working conditions in the public health care system, there's a, real, there's a real risk here.